Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we'll see a one more session in discrete mathematics that too in set theory that is equivalence relation. So in our previous session we have discussed about the definition of a relation and how the relation will be done between the same set or a different sets and also different types of relations with an examples. So in today's session we will see a one more type of relation that is equivalence relation. So let us start our session. So equivalence relation. So, a relation on a set is said to be equivalence if it satisfies three properties. So, when we are calling it as an equivalence relation means if any relation satisfies three properties. What are those properties? The first one, reflexive, second, symmetric, and the third, transitive. So, if any relation is reflexive, Similarly, symmetric as well as a transitive, then we can say that particular relation is called as an equivalence relation. So, we will see what is a reflexive. So, just a quick recall. Reflexive means if any element is mapped with the same element. If any element, okay, if any element mapped with the same element. So, like 1 comma 1, 2 comma 2, A comma A, B comma B. So, like that, the element should map to itself only. And symmetric. So, if A comma B belongs to R, then the reverse, inverse, B comma A should also belongs to R. If A comma B belongs to R, then the inverse, that means A, B comma A should also belongs to R. Then we can say it as a symmetric relation. Transitive. If A comma B belongs to R and B comma C belongs to R, then A comma C should also belongs to R. That is called as a transitive relation. So, if A comma B belongs to R and B comma C belongs to R, then A, the new pair should be formed with A comma C. That also should belong to R. Then we can say it as a transitive. So, all these things we have discussed in depth in uh, previous sessions. I will post the link in the description. So, just go through that and uh, understand what exactly all these relations with an examples, right? Yes. So, now so, if any relation satisfies these three properties, we are saying it as an equivalence relation. So, now we will solve one problem, right? Now, let us see this example. So, there is a set with four elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and there is one relation which is a subset of the Cartesian product, right? So, always we said that a relation is a subset of Cartesian product. So, here the Cartesian product between A and A, right? So, this is a relation, it gives some pair of elements. Now, we have to check, verify R is equivalence. So, we have to check whether the relation R is equivalence relation or not. So, we have seen it should satisfy the reflexive property, the first one reflexive. Let us check whether it is a reflexive or not. So, 1, there is a 1 comma 1. Yes. Similarly, 2 comma 2. Yes. 3 comma 3. Yes. And 4 comma 4. So, we are having, if, if you are having one element 
and that should be mapped with the same element which is called as a reflexive so yes this relation r is a reflexive the first property has been satisfied second one symmetric what is symmetric if a comma b belongs to r then the inverse b comma a should also belongs to r let us check 1 comma 1 so it reverse is also 1 comma 1 okay next 2 comma 2 reverse is also 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 also 3 comma 3 4 comma 4 yes so this one completed this one completed this one and this one let us check with 1 comma 2 so check whether there is a 2 comma 1 or not yes there is a 2 comma 1 in the same relation right 1 comma 2 belongs to r then 2 comma 1 is also belongs to r yes so 2 comma 1 is also belongs to r next 3 comma 4 consider 3 comma 4 what is the inverse of 3 comma 4 it's a 4 comma 3 which is available in the same relation 4 comma 3 you can observe yes so 4 comma 3 so if you consider any pair the inverse is also available in the same relation so it also satisfies the symmetric property and the third one transitive property transitive property so that means if a comma b belongs to r and b comma c belongs to r then the new pair should be formed so let us take randomly 1 comma 1 and 1 comma 2 so let us take this one a b b c then a new pair should form which is 1 comma 2 that means a comma c so which is already available yes now consider 2 comma 1 also okay 2 comma 1 now imagine this is a b and b c a new pair should be formed with 1 comma 1 which is a comma c which is already available yes done now consider uh, any other elements okay any other element so let us consider uh, 3 comma 4 and 4 comma 3 3 comma 4 and 4 comma 3 you can consider this is a b b c it forms a pair that is a 3 comma 3 which is a comma c also belongs to the same 3 comma 3 is also available 3 comma 3 is also available right similarly 3 comma 4 and 4 comma 4 3 comma 4 and 4 comma 4 this is a b this is b c b is 4 right so a new pair forms with a 3 comma 4 new pair forms with a uh, B, I mean a comma c that is 3 comma 4 which is already available in this particular so we can say for you can consider any element you can consider any element okay so 2 comma 2 1 comma 2 2 comma 2 obviously 1 comma 2 it is already available 3 comma 3 is there 4 comma 4 is there so every element uh, if you consider any element it satisfies the transitive property so this is also satisfied then what we can say we can say the given relation r is equivalence relation equivalence relation so because it satisfies all the three properties right so hope you understood this one so now let us take a one more example Now let us take this example okay so you have to solve this example and you have to post the result in the comment section okay see set has been given but relation was not given directly right they have given some constraint x comma y belongs to r such that x minus y is a multiple of phi so based upon this condition you have to form a relation so that is the first step we have to do right so just as an example i am taking so you can form any kind of pay but that should satisfy that x minus y is a multiple of phi so obviously x minus y is a multiple of phi you can go with a 6 comma 1 or simply 1 comma 6 also you can take 
1 minus 6 is a minus 5, which is a multiple of 5. Similarly, 2 comma 7 and uh, 3 comma 8, 4 comma 9 and so on. So, you have to form this particular relation that satisfies this particular condition and then you have to check for all the three properties right reflexive check whether this is a reflexive and a symmetric and transitive so if the relation satisfies all these things we can say it is an equivalence relation so this is the work you have to do so just form the relation and check whether these three properties are satisfied and check whether r is an equivalence and post the result in the comment section right so i'll stop here and if you face any difficulty while solving this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much